Hello guys, so now we need to get access to the PFSense firewall. And since you guys remember on the previous video, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch it. It was my first video of this lab, home lab series. And we created this PFSense firewall and we added, um, and what is it, um, hardware. So we added two network interfaces. One is Net0, which is the WAN interface, and Net1, which is the local or the LAN local area network interface. The thing is that for us to be able to access this PFSense, we have to be connected to the LAN network. I don't have any devices connected to the, to the network because that network lives on Proxmox, right? It is not anywhere else on my network, it's just on Proxmox. And for this, we're going to have to create a, I'm just going to um, download a Docker container that just has the Firefox browser. So that's everything we are going to have on that container. And for that, we are going to create a CT with Proxmox. And before you do that, there's one thing that you need to do. To do. You need to go to local and you need to go to CT templates and you need to go ahead and download the Ubuntu template, Ubuntu 20. 04. So the way that you do that is you go to go to Proxmox local right here, disk CT templates. You're gonna go to templates and you can just search Ubuntu right here. And the one that I downloaded was the 20.04 standard one. You can go ahead and download it. I already downloaded it because it takes a little bit, it takes like 10 minutes. It depends on your internet speed. Um, and it's gonna be right here, right? After that. What you need to do is you need to go to the right over here, top right, create CT, and you give it a host name. Let's call it Firefox, right? That's fine because this is going to install Firefox, or we're going to be installing a Firefox um, browser, right? And you also need to add the password. Make sure that you remember that password because that's going to be the password that you're going to need whenever you launch this um, Docker container that we're going to be pulling. So we're going to go to next templates over here is where you want to choose that Ubuntu um, template that you download. Like I showed you before, go next disk. Uh, let's just go ahead and give it like two. Let's go ahead and give it 20. Uh, that's fine. Um, next CPU one is fine. Um, let's go ahead and give it like 1000 right here. Swap 512 is fine. Again, we're not going to be running a lot of stuff, just going to be that web GUI. Maybe we will install something else, but for now, we're going to leave it like that. Next is the network. So we want to do the VMBR0 because we want to be able to access it from my from my local lane, not from the, the local lane, which is basically the one or the Firefox, right? So we want to be able to access it from that. So that's why we're going to be VMBR, which is the WAN of the... Firefox of the, not the fire, which is the way of the firewall. So we want to be able to access it from there because that's the way of the PFSense firewall is my local area network here. And the local area network of the firewall PFSense is a local area network that lives on Proxmox. Basically, I'm going to have to create a graph so you guys can see it or a network diagram, right? I will do that on the next video so you guys can understand better what I'm doing. So here we are going to set it to DHCP. That's fine. So you get a DHCP IP from the uh, from my modem. Um, we are going to leave this one like that. DNS is good. Oh, let me go ahead and go back. I'm just going to put IPv6 to do DHCP. I know I have it disabled at home, and it's not going to get anything, so that's good. Go ahead and get next. And DNS, that's fine. Next, confirm, finish. So let's go ahead and wait for this. This only takes a couple sec, a couple minutes. Okay, so now you can see that it was created. Let's go ahead and close this right here. We are going to go over here to the Firefox and we need to add the network. So right now, it is only gonna be able to pull an IP address from the WAN interface of the, uh, of the PFSense firewall, but we cannot manage it from the WAN interface. We can only manage it from the local interface. So therefore, we are going to be adding the network right we can just call it eth1 or lane whatever you want to do but we want to put the vmbr1 we want to get a dhcp ip address we are going to be getting that ip address from the pfsense firewall 
and that's good let's go ahead and add it Cupines. now we can go ahead and start Firefox and we can go ahead and go to the console it says connected so to log in you want to put root and the password that you enter whenever you were creating the CT and there we go so you are in you are root we are good so now what we want to do is we are going to be installing this um, Firefox um, Docker container and for us to be able to do that we need to install Docker and Docker Compose and for that I found a script that works great we're going to be using this so we're going to go to raw we're going to copy this and we're going to go to the um, Firefox and we're going to do wget we're going to do paste in here and this one is going to download this that sh and from here what we need to do is we need to go ahead and change the permission so ch mod to plus x and install there we go so this one we're going is going to make it an executable and from here we should be able to go ahead and execute this so let's go ahead and install it and just to let you know this installation should take about um i want to say like five to ten minutes depending on your internet speed so go ahead and sit there and just lay back and wait for it to be done after it is done what we are going to be doing is we are going to be um, creating it looks like it's almost done we are going to be creating this docker compose file um, I'm going to leave you the link on the description below so you can go ahead and copy it we're going to do this docker compose over here so let's go ahead and just copy this you can see now that it is done um, we are going to be using your favorite um, editor so we are going to be using this one that yaml and in here we are going to paste this and what this is going to do is just going to configure and download the Firefox and it's going to be using port 3000 so we can get to it right so let's go ahead and paste that in here enter and now we're going to clear this up and what we need to do is we need to go ahead and run this doc sudo docker compose where is it compose up d has a daemon there we go so now it's going to start pulling that firefox right it's going to be pulling this image over here this docker container and it's going to be installing it on our um on our um, ct that we created on proxmox and you can see right here this one should also take about five minutes or so maybe less see it's going really quick so it shouldn't really take that long um so let's go let me go ahead and post this video so you can see it is done so if you want to see if it is one you can do docker cps you can see right here firefox is running and you can see the port that is mapping on docker is being mapped to port um, 3000 so now if we do an ipa so we can see what's the ip address of this docker um, or this ubuntu server that we install or Ubuntu container it is 85 so we can gotta go to um, 192.168.0.85 um, colon 3000 we should be able to get to it so and we're going to be hitting this guy port 3000 there we go there we go so now since remember we got let me show you guys so you guys don't get lost where is it is it this guy right here so you can see that we have an ip address from the WAN of the firewall right but from the WAN of the firewall we cannot manage the firewall that's just how it is that's how it's supposed to be we're going to leave it like that but we also have an uh, an ip address right from the lane of the firewall so we're going to be able to manage the firewall from it so that's why i put two ip addresses one on the WAN, 
one on, on the WAN because my computer is also on the WAN and one on the local network area of the firewall so we can get to the firewall. So we're just going to copy because it needs to be that one. That's the IP address of the firewall. So if we paste this in here, no, no paste. Okay, HTTPS 192.168.10.1. We should be able to get to the firewall now. Advance, accept the risk. And here we go, guys. We got to the PFSense firewall. So here's when the juicy stuff starts happening. So now we are going to be, on um, the next videos, we're going to be logging into the PFSense firewall. We are going to be configuring. We're going to be adding rules, users, just doing a lot of stuff on this firewall. Then we're going to be adding more Docker containers. We are going to be adding a, um, a web uh, GUI interface so we can manage the Docker containers. So this is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Hopefully, you guys are having fun. Bye-bye.